Good about SCV, this is Trend Media View. And this program is Trend Conversation. One of the trending issues in Nigeria and globally. With me is Mr. Ibuve. Mr. Ibuve, welcome. Good evening. Thank you very much. So, we are looking at the major trending issue in Nigeria. That has to do with the death of Mubat. We understand that immediately after his death, some person were accused of having been involved or being culpable with respect to his death. I'm talking about Naramali, Sambari, and even his uh, bosom friend, who is a um, prime boy. As we speak, it's on record that Naramali has been arrested, and um, Sambari is equally in police custody. Even prime boy, as at the last count, has, has surrendered to police. You look at see police is proactive in this uh, investigation. Mr. Bu, how, how do you see it? Well, um, once again, thank you for having me on your program. Good day to all Nigerians. Well, it's, 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 it's a good news. Of course, you know that um, I think immediately after the death of um, Mobad, a lot of Nigerians, especially the youth, and, and perhaps even the elderly, you know, took it so serious. Everybody wasn't happy with it, considering the way it, it happened. And considering the fact that prior to it happening, the young man had been complaining. I think there was even a police. Um, and they say he wrote a petition against yeah, thank you. even Amari and, and Samlari. That and if they, they die, they should be held responsible. They should be held responsible. So yes. I think um, the Nigerian people rose up to it. They refused to accept it. And then um, the police hit to the call, which is which is a nice development, if you would speak the truth. Now, Mr. Bill, let me bring, out this, bring in this perspective. We understand that his corpse have been assumed, autopsy have, have, have been conducted, police is waiting for the result of the, of the autopsy. What do you think the autopsy will, of what benefit will it be to the investigation? Definitely, definitely, I think the, the result of the autopsy is going to be a very, very good lead to exposing what has happened exactly. Who and who, who, and who have been involved or who and who are culpable in actual sense because you need hard evidence to be able to say to point finger to say this person that person or this person or persons are the ones culpable of it so i think the the autopsy is really needed and we are anxious nigerians are anxious and nigerians do not understand why the autopsy result has not been out but since the police rose up to the tax let's give them a chance let's now a chance. the information we are getting this evening in the case that 26 witnesses have been identified. Perhaps they are going to be the prosecutor, pro, uh, prosecution witness. And we understand that the police saying that five persons have been interrogated. As we speak, it's on record that Sam Larry, Prime Boy, and Naramali are in custody. So we don't know the other two that are already interrogated. But what the, does this mean? Looking at the police uh, proactiveness in arresting, interrogating, are we seeing a, a police that is already having that revigoration to act? I'll put it this way. I'll say the people have stirred up the police to act. So the police is acting. From everything we are saying now, the police is acting. And we hope that they take it to the height of it, which means they do not just stop at this point and expect people to just be calm because it's taking a long time. And sometimes once things drag so long, people get so tired of this all or some other serious issue comes into the pouring, and then people forget about that one since the person is gone, the person is gone, the hardship and other things might just make them so loose to follow it up and then the police might just relax. So we hope the police don't relax. That's why we want them to hasten up. And even 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 while we want them to hasten up, we still have to accept that they shouldn't hasten up and do the wrong job. Because you need to first interrogate, gather these facts and see that it's enough for you to now spend resources in prosecuting these people because now it is a it is a matter of the state versus these people. So once it's the state versus these people, the police comes in and then they have to expend um, resources. In okay. Uh, in that sense, I understand that in Nigeria legal jurisprudence, you need to establish a prima facie case before you add anybody in court. But if you look at the way Amana police handled the petition the boy wrote before his death, because I understand that he wrote two petitions before his death, accusing Naramali and San Larry of harassing him, intimidating him, even beating him up. In the light of 
police not investigating it and their proactiveness now. How do you just oppose that the, those two actions? That's why I said the people stand up the police because I we we, we the, the Nigerian people believe strongly that without staring up the police, definitely for them to have not even attended to that the the um the petition, petition. which he wrote while he was alive, which would have saved his life in actual fact. Which means where Nigerians, where the Nigerian people or the youths and the, the, the few adults or the elderly who joined in staring up the police did not do that. The police probably wouldn't even be bothered about doing it. Because we hear from some sections, we hear some rumors flying up from some sections that these um, people which he mentioned or which he petitioned to the police are having relationships with certain big wigs in the country. You know, we had names of certain big wigs like, you know, and, and Oba. We had, we saw pictures of um, these people with um, side by side with the governor of Lagos State. And then we hear rumors of these people having affiliations or relationship with the president. But all of those are still based on the pictures they saw and um, based on, I think based on the pictures they saw. So until the police does the job, we can't say who is who now, Mr. Bray, conclusively, do you have confidence in Nigerian police? Um, um, to do a diligent investigation, an unbiased investigation. They are trained to do so. But, but do you have what, confidence in from them? What, no, I, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so until they prosecute this case. Because from what we've seen in the past, and the fact that the, 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 the young man who is late now, may so rest in peace, made a petition. And they didn't take it up. And it was allegedly swept under the carpet. It was swept under the carpet. I don't think my confidence should rest in the police until they do this job. And once they do this job, I can say yes, once again, we can rest our confidence in the police to do their job. I think it's a good place to let it go. All right. Thank, thank, thank you, you for your time. Thank you very much. Once more, this is Trend Media View, and this program is Trend Conversation. We're going to look at trending issues in Nigeria and globally. If you are new to this channel, if you are new to this program, kindly like, share, subscribe, and please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thank you very much.